Peter Hewitt, La Artistino. I've got another coloring book review for you today. This one is a book by a Czech Republic artist and jewelry maker, Clara Markovna, and it's called, now I don't think I'll try and pronounce this one because I'm not really sure about it, I'm probably going to butcher it like crazy, but it translates in English as Magical Delights. This book was a self-published book by Clara. It's available on Amazon UK and also through her own Etsy site under the name of Elfie74 and I'll leave those links down in the notes below. Now Clara has sent this book to me along with a marvellous set of Kohenor Hardmuth pencils which are also a product of the Czech Republic and I will start off first by having a quick look at these and show you what they're like and then we'll jump into the book and thank you very very much for this gift Clara I really appreciate it because these are unique pencils and the unique thing about them is they're not just one color but three combined into each core and they look like this now I happen to know that you can also get these pencils as a solid core as well with a round barrel. These ones have a, oops I can just hold that up to the camera so you can see these have a triangular barrel which makes them very very comfortable to hold actually. Now that's a poor example of the grey wide but if I pick up one that's a little bit more, here we go, ah, this one will do. You can see, I'll hold that or up there that it's three colors combined into one and this gives a really interesting effect when you're coloring in and I've actually swatched them out right here so you can see what I mean there are 24 colors in this set and including this one here which actually isn't a color it's a blender pencil but this is how they look when you use them and I believe you can get these, I think they're available on Amazon, you can search around for them, but uh, I had a lot of fun using them. And uh, I happen to know they're, they're very good for backgrounds and special effects, and certainly these brown ones, I'll pick up the brown one here, it's uh, this one down here, there you go. Um, very very good if you're coloring wood and you want a sort of a natural wood grain kind of look to it and you don't have to combine a whole pile of different pencils you can just use the one pencil to do it so thank you very much for Clara for sending me those and now I'll give you a little walk through her book Put them to one side now this book as I said before is self-published it's very high quality we've got a nice solid cover there the nice black in line it's a very very classy looking book and um, the paper quality is excellent it's lovely and thick it's got a slight ivory look to it and the pictures are really of really whimsical um, fantasy style the other thing about this book is that she's only printed the picture on the one side and the back side is more or less blank except for a little design down the bottom here which is repeated on every back side of every page so you can go nuts you can color it in with anything you like and you don't have to worry about bleed through because there's nothing to um, affect on the back and but I do of course recommend that you put a sheet of paper like this one in between page you're working on and the next page to protect it maybe two or three sheets if you're a bit heavy-handed as well now we'll have a wander through this book. Lovely little penmanship. It's very whimsical. Also, sort of fairy, sort of foresty, flowery themes. Some cute little whimsical characters. And here's one that I've finished. Hang on, I'll bring that into the center so you can see this is a little foxy, foxy person. Now I use polychromous pencils for this one mostly and a little bit of uh, white gel pen to put in the sparkle. But the back. Here, all this background that I've created, I've actually used one of these pencils. I think it was oh, this one. So this is from the Kohenor Magic set that she sent me, and um, you can see without any difficulty whatsoever, I've got this gorgeous variation in colour in the back. And I think this is where these pencils really shine through. If you want to add some background colour with a bit of a bit of pizzazz in it, a bit of something a bit more um, interesting than just a flat colour, and you can do it really easily. So, and uh, the pencils took very well to this paper. Uh, as you can see, there's not much to see on the other side. 
and then really enjoyed using it on this paper too. I think any pencils would be suitable for this. And we'll keep going with the pictures. A lot of very pretty variety here. This is a beautiful book for self-published. I really think that um, she's gone all out and out to um, produce something that's very much worthwhile. Now I will say this is a little bit pricey this book. I think it, for me personally I think it's worth it for something that of this calibre and self-published is always fun. Keep going. I've seen some beautiful examples of coloured pictures from this book too. Very, it lends itself a lot to experimentation, a lot of playful use of colour. Now, I think I've tried a little bit of ink tents in this book and some paint. And uh, uh, this isn't watercolour paper, as um, you know, watercolour paper has been uh, sealed in a particular way to make sure that uh, it takes the watercolour well. But uh, you can still get away with it on this paper if you don't mind a little bit of wrinkling. And the, a lot of the wrinkling will flatten out when you store the book. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't get too um, enthusiastic by how much water you use in it though. This is rather cute. I can imagine doing this background very dark here for a nightscape. Probably sort of dark blacky purple colour. There's an owl. There's a little bit of show through with the printing ink, but um, I wouldn't be too worried about it because you're not using the back anyway. Here's another picture that I've done. And this is a strawberry fairy. So I've colored in all sort of strawberry colors. The background with this one, I've actually done with a cheap um, pastel and rubbed it in to give it that little gradiated effect to make it lighter in the centre and, and sort of the darker colour around the outside. And I just did that by powdering the um, pastel and then rubbing it in with my fingers. All little indoor scenes, something that looks like a fairy house. This is very cute. Now I think just about all of these are single sided. I have a feeling later on there's a double sided in here, sort of like one that crosses both pages. But if you just like to work on one, one side, it's good. It's a bit quicker. And as I said, you can have a lot of fun with this. Oh, that's cute. I like that with the dragonfly. <laughs> oh, little fairies are naked. Oh no, there's one wearing a dress. It's a little fairy man with um, blackberries, or oh, blueberries actually. Okay, right, here we go. This one looks like the beginning of a double page spread, so keeping in the theme, she's left this page so that it doesn't matter whether it, it bleeds through or not, and if you turn the page, here is your, your double page spread. And then back to the single pages. Again, a little mouse in a house. They're rather cute. This book makes me smile a lot. Just... I love the loose drawing style as well. And then here the back, oh she sent me a couple of bookmarks to go with the book. And they can be colour, oh look, you can colour in those ones too. And here you've got some little cutouts that you can add. So you've got the doors that you can put into the pictures back here. I think there's certain pages with doors so that you can have little doors to open up and see the, um, the characters inside which is absolutely gorgeous. She even got so that those two there they, they belong to whoops go back to the double page spread which is I'll find I think that one there. So in other words that door you attach to this little hanging structure here and the same with this door to here, so that's that's a cute little idea, isn't it? I like that. I'm gonna have to do that. Anyway, and that's the end of the book. There you go. I hope you've enjoyed this review of Magical Delights. Um, I'll leave the links below for where you can get that from. And thank you again very much, Clara, for sending me 
the uh, pencils as well. They're, they are, I highly recommend, they are a lot of fun. Lots of fun. And that's it for this review. I hope that you enjoy all the colouring ventures you're currently on and until next time, happy colouring! I hope you're enjoying any colouring adventures that you are currently on and until next time, happy colouring! <laughs>